chat here at the European Union Film Festival in downtown Toronto with the Consul of Denmark. How does it feel to be the co-host of this year's festival? I'm very excited and very proud to be the co-host for the film festival. It's the eighth uh, year and the bigger than ever. It's the first time all 27 member countries are participating and um, it's a very significant thing for the European Union to do in unison. It's one of the only projects that we are all engaged in here in Toronto. So we love the teamwork. It's very valuable for us. And how did you get involved with the festival? Each, uh, each, it's all the consulates. Each consulate uh, are involved and uh, the presidency for EU rotates. So this year Denmark had it the first six months and uh, Cyprus has the last six months. So we automatically become the co-chair of the festival. And tell me a little bit about the film from Denmark. Well, we have actually two films from Denmark. Uh, we have a Carl Dreyer movie that, uh, for people that are into movies, is really one of the all-time classics. It was made in 1930, and um, it's a very, very scary movie. So it's shown on Saturday night at uh, 12, 11 o'clock. And then we are closing the film festival with a Danish movie uh, called Brigitte. And uh, it is a modern classic in Denmark. And the film that uh, spearheaded the whole movement in modern Danish filmmaking, Lars von Trier, is carrying up on the tradition that really was shown first time on this particular movie. It's a wonderful movie. And what is the importance of showing films both from the past and more current films in the festival? Mm, well, you know, I think, I think what is important is that we share uh, our cultures, and I think it's important that people engage in culture. And that is also the reason that we are very proud that the film festival is for free. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, we believe culture, like education, should be for everyone. It shouldn't cost a thing. And it should be freely enjoyed and celebrated. And where is the best place to find out more information on the European Festival online? I think you should go online. Uh, you should. Uh, I don't even remember the, I always Google it. Uh, so Google European Film Festival Toronto. Perfect. And we hope you will all go and see some of these wonderful movies. We definitely will. Thank you so Thank much you. and Perfect. have a great festival. Thank you, Katie. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the European Union Film Festival in Denver.